Hello everyone, this is Darren at the Seaco Science Center and today I am on a hunt for seaweed species. I have made my way here to the rocky coast of New Hampshire, as you can see right behind me, and I'm going to go try and see how many different seaweed species I can find. Wow, I have found so much seaweed species here today on our rocky coast and it's even high tide. Can you imagine what it would be like on low tide? How much seaweed I would find? The seaweed in the ocean are algae, just like you can see here on this rock. Seaweeds are super important in our world's oceans. They provide animals with protection where they can be hidden inside of the seaweed. They can camouflage themselves. They also provide a food source for many different species in the ocean. Our ocean life love to eat seaweed. Can you think of an ocean animal that loves seaweed as their number one food source? Another important reason why seaweed is so important in our world's ocean is how they consume excess nutrients and carbon and provide oxygen for us even here on land. It's almost like the trees in our forests and how they produce oxygen as well. Look what I found here. It's a seaweed's holdfast. This is their root system, just like trees, except instead of a tree's roots being underground, a seaweed's roots, their holdfast, are on a substrate. A substrate, for this example, is this rock. find here in New Hampshire, Maine, and Massachusetts coasts, and it is a brown greenish color. You can tell that this is knotted rack seaweed by the egg-shaped air bladders that they have going all up and down their fronds. Wow, I found another type of species, a seaweed. Did you notice how I put the rock right back where I got it from? I looked right under that rock and I found the rockweed seaweed. Rockweed and knotted rack look really similar, especially on our coast and throughout the North Atlantic. They're dark green and brown, but the difference is rockweed is a lot more flat. If you look at the fronds of the top of the seaweed, you'll notice they are not as egg-shaped air bladdery. They are a lot more flat. Rockweed can grow up to be eight feet long. That's pretty long considering I'm only five foot four. How tall are you? Awesome. I found some kelp species. I found two different types of kelp here at the rocky shore and so can you. You can find sugar kelp along the rocky shore up along the entire North Atlantic coast just like I have right here. It'll have waved edges and it will be very long. Or you can find yourself some horsetail kelp. It'll be much more straight. Their fronds will be a lot more straight and they're just as awesome. Now it's time for your challenge to get outside, head to the beach or the rocky shore coast if you can and find at least three different species of seaweed. I encourage you to help with your challenge to bring along a handy notebook and a pen so that you can sketch out your findings just like I did here. And then you can bring your notebook home to do further research. I will remind you that you cannot take home seaweed from the beach or a rocky shore, especially if you are going to a state park. It's actually against the rules. We need the seaweed to stay right here in its proper ecosystem to serve as a food resource, like I mentioned before, and to protect different animal species so that they can camouflage themselves. Goodbye for now. See you again soon. Again, continue to follow us at our Instagram, our Facebook page, and just our general website, 